guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually not going to be like a review of like any movie or any tv show or anything of the sort but today's video is actually like an introspection on like the ghana movie industry and like questions i want asked and answered because you see i've always had questions and always people ask me why i don't do like stuff on ghana movies and everything and today i actually had an interesting conversation with someone in the movie industry and like critics around it and then they were telling me that oh you know 2018 is actually going to be a different year where we see more content from you know a lot of more Ghana movies so I was like you know that's cool like I'm looking forward to doing that but at the same time I also have questions so the title of this video is the art of the funny okay basically what I'm doing in this video is that for the past couple of years the most of the movies that is done in Ghana have been funny movies I don't have anything against funny movies but if out of 100%, 90% of your content is funny, I don't know, it really poses like a lot of questions. Because, you see, I feel like we always want the funny thing. Like, almost all the movies, even when they didn't have to be funny, they just, like, most of them had to force a way for it to be funny. Case in point, John and John. I didn't, John and John, I don't know why they made it to be like a funny movie. Because I don't think it should have been like a funny movie. But then they tried so hard for it to be a comedy. So it feels like almost every movie, like for a movie to succeed in Ghana, it has to be comedy. Which is very weird, because that's the same thing you see with a the theater. Because I used, I'm a theater as like graduates, right? And most of the plays that I show now all have to be comedy. Like they all have to be funny, because if your play is not funny, nobody will come and watch it. And in some way for me, because so this is my question to anybody that's watching this video. Like, why do you think that comedy is like such a huge draw? right now in ghana because i get like the appeal of a lot of rom-coms like i mean there have been so many rom-coms over the years and most of them have the same storyline but told from different perspectives at the end of the day you know it's going to be like sealed with a bow and it's going to have this perfect ending or even if it's not a perfect ending a semi-perfect ending something like that so this is my thing right half of the movies that came out last year half of them more than half were all funny movies and it needs me to ask that we don't want more serious movies, we don't want more dramedies, we don't want more... I don't know, is it that everything has to be funny? So, moving into the new year, in this 2018, does it mean that all the movies that are going to come out are all going to be funny? No, right, because here's the thing, most of the movies or the plays or the stories that have been told in the past by Ghanaians haven't been funny ones or comedies or i don't know they've been very serious movies because if you watch heritage africa if you watch love brood in an african port there have been movies that they're not funny yeah, yeah they, of course there are some parts that will make you chuckle there are some parts that make you go oh i see what you did there but none of those movies were outright oh my god this is <laughs> this is funny no none of them were like that so I, I don't know it baffles me that right now a lot of the movies that are coming out all have to end happily all have to be tied up in the red bow because you see this is my thing i don't like happy endings I, I like i get the sense of happy endings but they're not my type of movies like i if like most of the movies are happy endings like i get it oh great it's a happy ending but then that those movies don't really entice me like they're not i won't list them as part of like my all-time favorite movies the Theory of Everything is also one of my favorite movies. It's also a very sad movie. It doesn't have a happy ending. The ending is happy-ish. Not all happy. So that's my thing. Why do we force so much to put movies into comedy? Why can't we have a movie that has a sad ending? Why can't we have a movie that has the big questions? Here's my opinion, right? A lot of people don't go and watch a lot of movies, a lot of Ghanaian movies at the cinema because they feel like I'm just going to watch the same thing over and over again with different characters or with a different act. Because even when you're like, oh, let's actually go and see this movie, I think it would be nice. We're like, ah, it's the same storyline. And then when you become like the sacrificial lump and go and sit in the cinema, and 15 minutes into the movie, you're like, oh my god, yeah, I actually know how this is going to end. This is, the, this is going to happen. No, this, this is my thing. Surprise me. Let me go like, damn, I did not think of that. I don't know, give me something like that, right? Because I feel like if I, if I got to go through the same motion, the same plot line, the same everything, why are we doing it anyways? Like, I get its appeal, I get that like a lot of people like it, but then after some time, it gets repetitive, right? That's the word, right? Repetitive. You see, this is what I learned in theater, right? And I'm sure it also applies to the movie industry in general. The theater wasn't just to entertain. Like, if you're going to write on the importance of theater, 
its entertainment value was like one of the third thing because if you write that as a first like most people think that you're not serious like most of my lecturers would think you're not serious because i think that apart from just entertaining apart from like just going and laughing and then coming back we should get like the poignant part of it because you see we have decided to make everything funny that even when there's a serious scene people think it's funny which is like the most weirdest thing to me like there can be a rape scene right and there's a rape scene that will like it will gut you like it's a rape scene that you feel violated even watching it and you find people laughing and most of the times i want to turn to them and be like is rape funny to you like you see that's my thing if you're trying to do comedy it's great it's good but don't do comedy in such a way that it cheapens everything else in the movie, right? Because if you're doing the art of the funny, do it in such a way that we actually appreciate all the other parts. But don't do it in such a way that something will happen that is actually to make us connect to the people on screen. But then we end up laughing and then we end up cheapening everything. It's not right. Like, it's really not right. Because I've seen the stage adaptation of For Colored Girls, I think I've seen it three times. And each time when the rape scene came out, people laughed. Why? You see, being funny is great, coming to laugh is great, but give us something more than funny. Because at the end of the day, I'm supposed to get more. And I know a lot of people say that, well, we watch the same old superhero movies on, like, for Marvel and DC, and we don't get tired of it. It's true. But you see, the thing about the superhero movies is that they each have an idea back in it. Captain America has a different idea from uh, Iron Man. Because if you watch Captain America, they're sort of, the character of Steve Rogers is different from Tony Stark. And that's what you see coming from it. Because even if you watch Christopher Nolan's Batman's trilogy, which is like one of the greatest superhero movies of all time, you find out that he tries to bring out different ideas. So that's my thing. It's not just doing comedy for comedy's sake. Let's just do ideas. I don't know. Let the storytelling be different. Because these are my questions to you guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed the same trend or I'm the one being paranoid because I tend to be paranoid about a lot of things. But then, I don't know. Let me know. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think that, man, Laurentia, you're just, mm -mm, you're just reaching? Am I reaching though? I feel like I'm reaching or I'm not. I don't know. I mean... Who knows? On the other hand, right, this is a very funny thing. Before I did this video, I was like, I wonder how if when I do my own movie, like my first film, when it comes out, people are going to be like, mm, look at this girl, she thought she was all that, but then she really wasn't. It's life. So anyways, I'm done with this question. This is my, like, my big question for 2018. Do Ghana movies really have to be funny? And if it's going to be funny, are we just going to get funny for funny sake or funny because we need to get an idea behind the funny? Honestly. So I'm done. I guess I'm done. Anyways, so subscribe to my channel, right? You guys have been such amazing people. So subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave your comments down below. I really want to hear what all of you have to say about it. And on my last review on Potato Potato, someone said that most Ghana acting is like they are reciting the lines. It's like, Achua, come to me. Come hither to me. So anyways, I mean, that's just by the way. But my point is, Please don't forget to leave your comments down below. Subscribe to my channel because I feel like we have this relationship now where you actually get to subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, why are we still doing this between us? Alright, check out my other videos that are going to be here. They're going to be here. And then I'll see you on my next video because I actually want you guys to watch the show that I think will be really good. So, 